Since the recording of this video, a new version of TextDocs was released. You will notice the new version includes a new logo, changes to the interface, and new simplified menus designed to bring the features most valuable to the document automation process to the forefront. However, the processes, features, and functionality demonstrated in this video have not changed. Thank you for selecting this video in our Quick Start video series. This video will cover the TextDocs Plus firm and system settings. I will be using TextDocs Plus anywhere. However, whether you are using TextDocs Plus Classic or anywhere, your firm settings can be accessed through the Settings menu. Click the Settings tab and then Firm Settings. The Firm Settings window will open on the Manage Staff tab. Here, you will be able to manage your staff which includes adding, editing, and deleting staff members. Please keep in mind that you can add all of the staff members within your firm who will be using TechStocks. However, you only need to consider adding additional licenses to your subscription if you anticipate needing more concurrent users than the number of user licenses currently allotted to your subscription. Under TechStocks Account on the Firm Information tab, you can access and edit your firm address and primary contact information. Please make sure you update your primary contact information as necessary. This is the information that will be used for any security sensitive information, such as password reset codes. On the Subscription Details tab, you can review your current subscription and change the number of concurrent user licenses. If ever you need to edit your payment information, such as change the expiration date for your credit card, you can do that on the Payment Method tab. And you can change your password on the Account Password tab. On the Contacts and Cases tab, you have a couple of options regarding client and case entry. If you use ID numbers to reference clients and cases, you can check the appropriate box to add an extra entry blank to the client and case entry window. You can also set a default for the area code for phone numbers. Also, if you would like to be able to filter out cases by type using the display filter at the top of the contacts manager, check the box and enter the different types of cases you handle. Then you will be able to select a case type for each case you enter and filter through your cases by type in the Contacts Manager. On the Phone Slips tab, you can create and prioritize the lists of actions you would like to select from when you enter a phone slip. Under Shortcuts, you can access the shortcut databases for case notes and appointments, and add, edit, or delete shortcuts. Check the box for Phone App Enabled on the Phone App Users tab if you want to enable the option to let staff members access the TechStocks Plus Phone App, which will allow you to view your calendar, manage appointments and contacts, and enter time slips and expense slips from your phone. Also, you can toggle the Auto Save feature off or on. When Auto Save is on, answers are saved during assembly as you advance from one panel to the next. If turned off, the answers are not automatically saved. Always remember to click Save and Close to save your firm settings after setting or changing them. System settings differ between TechStocks Plus Classic and TechStocks Plus Anywhere. Both will have the option to enable security within your firm. When enabled, the security feature requires a user-specific password for each staff member who logs into TechStocks Plus, and it also allows for creating and assigning security profiles to each staff member, allowing and disallowing him or her access to certain features or processes in TechStocks Plus. Anywhere users can enter their firm's email address on the Email Settings tab. This will be the email address which shows on the receiver's end when general emails are sent, such as billing statements. 
You can also enter an email address to which you would like a blind carbon copy of each email sent. Other than security, in system settings, Textdocs Plus Classic users can set their backup preferences. Please keep in mind that unless you are saving your backup to a location other than the computer on which Textdocs Plus is installed, should the computer fail, this backup is not disaster relief. If ever it is necessary to restore a backup, please contact our tech support team for assistance. On the Updates tab, you can select the preference for when to automatically check for updates, if at all. And finally, for Textdocs Plus Classic users who are not using the Outlook email management feature, on the Email Settings tab, you can enter the SMTP settings for a general outgoing email address as well as an email address to which you would like a blind carbon copy of each email sent. Always remember to click OK to save your system settings after setting or changing them. Thanks again for watching this video. If you ever want to review this video, you will find this and other TextDocs videos on the Learning Center tab at the top of the TextDocs desktop. Also, if you have any questions, please give us a call or use the Contact Us option on the Help tab to send an email.